What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlayboyGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on North Texas in the Motor City Bowl, and we got the win, 42-28. to As you can tell by the box score, it was a hard-fought battle pretty much throughout, but we was able to slowly get another score or two towards the end. We played better than they did in the second half, and we was able to get the win. Our freshman A-back sensation, Brandon Gardner, had 308 yards. Just an incredible performance by him. We finished the season 23rd in the country, 11-2, won four in a row, and we are ready to head into the offseason, which is what we are going to do today. But before we head into the offseason, let's look at a few things. First of all, we have five commitments, a three-star strong safety, Ryan McIntosh, really excited about him. We got a humongous wide receiver, Jason Coleman, coming in from Pennsylvania. We got Kevin Whitlock, a guard, a humongous guard. Uh, we need that in our offense. Excited to have him. Tyler Randall, Wisconsin quarterback. He's a balanced quarterback, but he can also run a little bit, a 4.65, and we need some speed, obviously, at that position with our offense. And last but not least, Victor Hampton, a big old tackle out of Pennsylvania. So that's a good start to our class. So we have five commitments. You look at our list here, we have 56 players coming back if nobody leaves early or transfers or whatever. And the most we can have is 70. So we got 14 spots left. You add in those five that we just got committed, and now we're technically only need nine spots to fill. Of course, we're going to get more players than that. But the good thing is we don't have to spend a ton of points in recruiting this go-round. We could spend a little bit in training. But let's go look at our roster real quick before we head into the offseason. So here we are. We got 14 seniors. They're going to be gone. But I want to point out, we still have a lot of bad players on the bottom half of our team. Several upperclassmen like this redshirt senior, he'll be gone. Things of that nature, this kid right here. So I, I'm going to recruit more than nine kids, so I'll probably have to cut a few players. But thankfully, this is a good problem to have. We don't need a humongous class this go around. But you look at quarterback, we got one senior. He'll be gone, Luke Getze. And we already got one committed. I'd like to get about – I got a two on my list. I've already made my notes. I'd like to have as many bodies here as possible. All it takes is a couple of injuries. We saw that in the last bowl game of our first season. We had, what, our first two quarterbacks. They just went out that first half. So it doesn't take much. So more bodies here, the better. Halfback or A-back for us. We got five guys here. One of them is going to be moved over to B-back. Wesley Harrell will be just because his 80 speed. He does not need to be an A-back. He needs to be a B-back. So we're going to move him over. That still leaves us four guys right here. I Actually, if I can find another A-back with super speed like Gardner, I'm going to go after him for sure. Otherwise, we're kind of okay here. B-back, we got plenty of bodies. All these guys are coming back. So once you move over Harrell, that's four guys at this position, which is a good spot to be in. So uh, just a good place to be in all around with our backfield in general, but we could always use more talent. Wide receiver, we got one guy already committed. We don't have any seniors, so all these guys should hopefully come back. I did put down on my notes, I wouldn't mind getting maybe one more because a couple of those juniors are going to be seniors next year, and I always like to have a couple guys redshirted so we don't uh, get caught with our pants down in those types of situations. Tight end. So this position is becoming a little bit more important in our offense because we are running more wishbone. We got wishbone normal and tight, which got one and two tight ends. So I just wanted to point out that, yes, we're only losing one guy, and we only have these guys blocking for us. I still wouldn't mind finding one or two. We need bigger dudes because that's what they're going to do is block for us. This kid right here, no offense to him, it's just not going to work out. I mean, he just can't block anybody. Same with this guy, 6'5", 235. I mean, Cruz has got 72 strength. That'll help a little. But this kid right here, he just has no chance. So we need some monsters right here. And speaking of that, I'm going to show you – I'm going to go over to coach options. <clears throat> and I have switched our option type to option run. It didn't really change much between flexbone and option run. I think we're supposed to have like a, maybe one extra A back compared to, you know, like a tight end or something. But I'm going to switch to option run because we are adding that wishbone in there, which really helped us this year. That's just a minimum requirement thing. So let's go back to – 
tackle. So when it comes to tackle, we got one committed. We got one senior gone, Tim Crouch. We're going to miss him in the absolute worst way. He's been incredible for us. 32 pancakes this year, just insane. Uh, but we do got one committed again. But you notice the bottom half just isn't looking very good. I wouldn't mind finding at least one more. Guard, we got plenty of bodies, even with two seniors gone. Uh, Allman's going to be gone and uh, Donaldson will be gone. We got one committed, which is great, but I wouldn't mind maybe finding one more, but it's not the most essential thing. The biggest thing we need is a humongous guard, more the better, because you notice all these guys right here are okay, like 298. With this kid right here, not so much, 269 pounds. That's just really small. Center, this is going to be an area of concern for us. Andy Willis almost won the center award. I think he finished, what, fourth or fifth, which is incredible for our little school uh, but he's a senior, and he's out of here, and we need some bodies because we don't have much behind him, a 70 and a 65. I doubt we're going to find a three-star kid that's going to come through and just be great for us out of the gate. I could be dead wrong, but we're going to talk a little bit more about kind of what I'm going to recruit a little bit later. Defensive end, we need some help here. We only got three guys coming back. Our uh, Showers is gone, and Jeremiah Reed is gone. We're going to be okay starter-wise, but we need some depth. And I kind of have to make up my mind what kind of defensive ends I need. I'm Honestly, I think as much as we blitz from our speedy linebackers and nickelbacks and whatnot, I may just get bigger dudes here just to help out when we go up against bigger sets with our 4 2 5. We need more weight in our front seven. So I may just go after bigger defensive ends instead of just pure pass rushers. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Either way, we need at least a couple. Defensive tackle, you can't have too many of these guys. We got one leaving. Our best guy by far is a freshman, but even he is not the biggest guy in the world. I, according to my notes, I'd like to have at least one more because you can see we don't have a whole lot going on right here, but at least we're young, so it's not like the worst situation. Outside linebacker, we only play one at a time. McNeil is gone, and Stokes will hopefully be our starting outside linebacker next year, but we can let – upperclassmen that just aren't very good. We got a freshman at 68 that may be a starter in a couple of years down the road. But it's not the best situation. It'll be okay, though, if we get some bodies in middle linebacker. Stokes has been our starting middle linebacker all year because we have nothing at middle linebacker. So middle linebacker, I'd like to get at least a couple guys that can handle this because you could tell we just it's just not a good situation to be in. Cornerback, we got a ton of bodies. We're going to have five guys coming back to our two best players at this position are gone, uh, and it's kind of a drop-off after them. But I'm still not really worried, per se, because I want to stick to the 4-2-5 as much as I can, but you always got to put your best players out there depending on the situation. I wouldn't mind finding one more good, tall, speedy uh, corner if I can find one. We'll see how that goes, but as you can tell, we got a ton of bodies. It's not the biggest area of need. Free safety, all three of these guys should be back, and they all look equally below average. But I thought for true freshman Alex Rogers done a good job this year, so uh, he'll be our starter next year unless something crazy happens. So I don't think I'll need anybody here. Strong safety, we already got another one committed. Pace may be back next year. So we're going to be in really good shape at strong safety. And, of course, with our 4-2-5, we like to have two guys on the field pretty much the whole time once we use that formation. We're terrible at kicker. we got a junior. Thankfully, he's going to be a senior, which means this should open up maybe for some kickers interested. I hope so. He done okay for the situation, but I'd like to replace him. No offense. Punter, a really bad ordeal. He, we just could not find anybody that was interested. I mean, one thing I could do – is I think you can, like, delete players. I don't really want to do that. I think it's kind of cheating, but you can't cut players and you can open up a spot there, but I'm not going to bother. So I wouldn't mind finding a good punter. All right, having said all that, I think we're ready to head into the off season. I'm going to hit yes. First thing we're going to do is go to our school budgets. Now, again, we do not have a humongous rec recruiting class. We don't need one. We're going to probably get maybe 15 players. I'll probably go down to like 45, and I may do 30, let's see. I may do, well, we'll probably do 40, 40, 20 maybe. Uh, we still need to recruit, recruit the best players. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind, we are a four-star program. It says three-star academic, academic, but four stars. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to four-star in-state players. 
But everything else is going to be three star and below because, again, it's not the most realistic thing to have a ton of four star kids from everywhere around the country want to come to Akron, if that makes sense. So I want to try to keep it somewhat realistic, but also want to take advantage of us being a we're a four star program. So any Ohio four star kids that are really interested, I'm going to look at them. Otherwise, back to the school budgets, I think I'm OK with training 40 and 40 and then 20. I almost want to put this up to 25. To be honest, I think I may do something like this. That bar is getting higher and higher. We need to take advantage of that. Hopefully, we'll get a couple players in trouble at the beginning of the season. I can really suspend them hard. Hopefully, they're not important players. But I think I'm going to stick with this. I, I like this. And again, we're just not going to bring in a huge class. So we're going to really focus on training. All right, on to the next step. This is good to see. We do not have anybody leaving early nor want to transfer out. So there's nothing we can really do here, which is a good thing. I don't have to convince anybody to come back. I don't have to rethink my notes with recruiting to see if I need to go get an extra player at a position. So we're in great shape here, so I think we're ready to recruit. Here we are, week one recruiting. You see we have a couple of pipelines, Pennsylvania and Virginia, and that should be it. We, Florida is still technically a pipeline. I can still go after some players there if needed. Otherwise, I, I really want to keep it kind of local. It's just cheaper on us to do that. First thing I want to do is go to interested prospects. And we got a five-star kid interested, the number one player in the country. <laughs> of course, I, I'm not going to recruit him, but we are going to go after four-star in-state players, so four-star Ohio kids, and then three-star whoever. All right, so let's go with athlete. You always need to take a chance on athletes. We got a couple of, let's see, Ohio, North Carolina, Ohio. I am going to, we're going to scout for now. I'm not going to put on any scholarships until it's just like obvious. I need to go after this kid. So this kid right here, Brian, I'm not even going to say that last name. We're going to call him Brian Eli. Four, runs a 4'6", his hands. I, I don't know what he can do. He may be a... A running back, possibly. Uh, he did, he looks too small to be a linebacker. Either way, we'll scout him. I'm not going to scout the North Carolina kid. That's just kind of far off. I'd rather spend our points on something else. But Josh Gardner, how many Gardners do we have? We got a Gardner Gar with a D, our A back. Then we got Gardner, our kicker. We got a Carter. Maybe this kid will be on our team one day. Who's he? Uh, but anyway, 4-5-2. At least he's got some speed. 6-1-174. I just have no clue what he's into. But those are the only two that I'm going to scout for now quarterback let's look at all four of these guys pennsylvania kid runs a 482 and he's a juco he's a lefty oh i love to have lefties quentin bonds let's look at this next guy another pennsylvania kid let's scout him 488 that's not very fast 465 local kid lance five four seven three that's good enough that's i think maybe a 72 speed i don't have the list in front of me but that's not bad but look at his arm pretty solid that looks like a, just a good player all around. And let's look at this other two-star kid. North Carolina, Juco. Uh, no, we don't need him that badly. I'm going to pass on that one. So out of these three, who do you go after? We got a Ju we, If you get a Juco player, you really want him to kind of play pretty early. We already got Carlton Jackson. So unless he gets hurt, you know, I don't. The only one I'm really excited about is this kid right here. And he's a local kid. So I think I may put a scholarship on him for now. We'll do program prestige. That's the only one that really kind of fits what we're doing, and he's still not even the fastest guy. So we can move on. ABEX, we got a bunch of two-star kids, and it makes sense that not many are interested because we got a bunch of bodies here already. But I wouldn't mind trying to find somebody that's super, super fast. Here's a JUCO kid, 439. Let me look at this 42 kid out of uh, Mississippi. Yeah, I don't mind trying that. 435. Uh, we could try this 429 kid. 443. So 439, 443. None of these guys are fast enough to run BA backs for me, except this kid out of Mississippi, kind of sort of. But he looks to be no different than any of our guys that are fourth or fifth stringer. So I'm not worried about any of those guys. We're good at B back, and I really don't recruit true fullback. So I'm not worried about that one. Wide receiver, not a single one's interested, which I kind of understand everybody came back. Tight end, none of them are interested. That's fine. Tackle, uh, we can just a bunch of two-star kids. Let's go keep it local. Let me just look at their size more than anything else. 292, 307, 293, 306. None of that looks good. This kid, maybe 65, 312. Let me scout him. 
That's not bad. 655, uh, Nate Williams. And that's kind of it. The rest of these guys are just kind of small. Here's a the 307 kid. Has he got to say he's is not as strong as the other two-star kid? I'm not really impressed with any of that. So let's just move on. Guard kind of the same way, but we can find a behemoth. I'm all for it. 67, 317, 460, 605. Everything went down for him. 63321 out of Missouri, a Juco. Just a bunch of two-star. I have to start really excited about any of that. Here's a kid out of Virginia. That's just a 585 squat. Really weak. He's got the size and the weight, but not much else. Let's just move on. Center, this is kind of important. Uh, this kid may start for us. 690 on the squat. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just put a scholarship on this kid. Well, at least we'll have him for three years. Is that correct? Will he become a sophomore next year? I think that's how that's read. This kid, not uh, let me scout him anyways. Let me scout this two-star. 6'4", 284. Let me look at their squat. 535, 655. This kid, we'll probably look at him. He may get a scholarship later on. Otherwise, this kid right here is definitely worth putting a scholarship on right now. Defensive end. As you can tell, there are a bunch of these kids. But Ohio, oh, okay. So this kid right here, let's just go ahead and scout him, put a scholarship on him. No reason not to. Again, I'm a four-star program. We're going to keep that in state. The rest of everybody else, three-star. Here we got some other three-star kids, a Michigan kid. We'll scout him. We'll scout this Pennsylvania kid. And this may be ideal what I'm looking for. I may just need more weight up front and just do all my blitzing for my safeties, my nickels, and my linebackers and such. The rest of these, I'm going to wait because we got other positions to look at. I need to look at some more defensive tackles. And you look at our points. We only got 110 remaining. All three of these guys look pretty decent size. Let me just scan all three of these three stars. And let me look here. 655 on the squat. Notice I'm a big squat guy. That's the pure strength. Can they get a push on people? This guy's got 705 on the squat, and he's almost 300 pounds. And he's close. He's at Indiana. That's right beside us. I'm going to go ahead and put a scholarship on him. And here's a 655. 460. Looks like these guys are about the same. All three of these guys, I, I think, are going to be great for us. So I'm, I'm going to put a scholarship on him as well. Local kid. This one as well. He's not the biggest in the world. I may wait. But I definitely like these two. I want those two out of the three. Outside linebacker, a bunch of two-star kids. This isn't good. Uh, Michigan four. I mean, I can scout them. I need some speed here, 4-6, and his awareness ain't too bad. Really small. 4-7-8, I'm guessing this guy's not super fast. And again, we're, we're in the two-star range, so I just got to be careful. I'm not going to put a scholarship on him yet. Only one middle linebacker is interested. Only one. 4-5-2 and A, though. Oh, wow. He's humongous. 6-3-2-50. Runs a 4-5-2 and is A awareness. This kid needs a scholarship. We got to go after him. He may start for us next year. Corner, the only thing I'm looking for is maybe try to find one that's like super tall and super fast. Let me go up to the very top. We got 81 points to kill. 426, not bad. A 6 1. Here's a 6 2 kid out of Illinois. 4 3 7. 6 1. I got to be careful. I'm down to 66 points. 4 2 4. No, uh, that's probably it. Did I accidentally scout a one-star kid? I hope I didn't. I don't think I did. Okay, we'll just scout those few for now. Let me look at these. Four, two, six, eight minus. I'm not really worried about their bench and squad. I, yeah, they may get pushed around a time or two, but I need guys who can swat down passes. Four, three, seven, four, two, four. This kid may be worth going after, and that's kind of it. So those were the three that I looked at. This kid right here, probably, and this one right here. I really like to have speed at corner, but I'm not going to put a scholarship on him yet. We can wait till the next week. Free safety, we're kind of okay here. Now, here's a kid out of Tennessee that's local to me. Well, Clarksville isn't very close to me, but it's in the state. But we don't really need anybody here. I like his, if he's really fast, he's probably worth going after. 4-4-6, four, four, that's not bad. I'm not going to put a scholarship on him, though. Strong safety, not much, just a two-star. We're kind of okay here. We already got one committed. And we got four on the roster, so and he's a local. Let me scout him just in case. Four, four, six. Hey, wow, this kid looks the part. He really does. I'm not going to put a scholarship on him. But we'll always do that, like in week two. 
Kicker, good. We got a bunch of kickers interested, so they know that we need help. So here's a New Jersey kid. We'll scout him. We'll scout the Maryland kid. We'll scout Pennsylvania kid, Swain, Ohio, and uh, I'm not going to do the Florida kid. So let's go back to the very top. So A plus and A minus, pretty good. A minus, B plus, B plus all around for that kid, and C plus, A minus. So we're probably not going to bother with him unless we can't find anybody else. But I would love to have like this kid right here. He's really little, 5'11", well, 5'11", 160, the weight's pretty low. But I really don't care about the weight. Either way, this kid would be great for us. We may want to put a scholarship on the Maryland kid or the Pennsylvania kid. I care more about this. I'm not going to, let's just wait on the scholarship part. We only need one. We don't need a bunch. But we don't, we need a punter as well. Uh, let me go ahead and let me put a scholarship on all the, all three of these guys. As we all know, we need help here at kicker in the worst way. One of them may be a punter. I may have to transfer or move somebody over in position changes. So we are done. There's no punters interested. There's really nothing else I want to look at. I know defensive end, we got, we need some bodies here. So when you come back down here, let me just make sure I may, I think I'm going to wait and use the rest of these points on their current targets. We don't have a many and we'll just load up on some points and I'll be good with that for now. looks like this kid's ready to go. You know what? Let me just go ahead and just do, let me go ahead and just scout the rest of these defensive ends. Scouting right now is more important. So let's just go ahead and do that. Kid out of Florida, that could still be a pipeline for us. That's fine. Illinois, let me just scout. A, ooh, these are four-star kids. I'm sorry. Those are wasted points. Good job, Al. Well, I just wasted some points there. Uh, so we're we down to 18, and we're down to a bunch of two-star kids. Let me go ahead and scout these. He's local. He's my, uh, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Just so we get these scouts out of the way. And do I have any three? Here's another two-star kid. So we're down to no points whatsoever. All right. So we've done as much scouting as we possibly could. So let's move on to the next week. Well, looky there. We got a commitment in week one. That never happens. Like, it just, it's super rare. And it's a big position of need. Center. This guy's going to be a day one starter for us. I can't imagine anybody else I can get would start over him. That is a great pickup for us. So let's go to current targets. And let's see what we're looking at here. Then we'll go back to our interest list and add some more. Uh, to our list. So this kid looks like he's going to Michigan State. And he doesn't have, I'm not going to waste my, like, where are we? We're right there. I mean, I can try to keep going after him some. Like, we can do, like, coach prestige. I'm going to just do the bare minimum, but we'll only spend a point. That's not a big deal. Kicker, uh, we don't have a positive pitch here. So let's just go and do playing time. That may be a big thing for him since we need somebody there. Uh, defensive tackle. Nothing there, but let's just do the, the most popular ones for now. Oh, yeah, let's do the – that's right. Location. We got to do location for a lot of these. Let's do location because th location is a big deal for the three-star and below. So let's do that. Let me switch this to location. Next up, another defensive tackle. Don't have a positive pitch yet, but he is a three-star, so let's just go location. Middle linebacker would love to have this kid. We'll do location for him. Quarterback, Lance Fine. I'm going to do location for him. Uh, another kicker. So none of the none of the program prestige uh, pitch worked, which I kind of expect that for some of these lower-tier kids. They care more about other things. Let me do location for this kid, get that out of the way, and that is it. Do we got anybody that transferred or that committed somewhere else? I do not see it. So let's go to interested prospects. And let's go back around and see if we're going to put any commit or any uh, scholarships on others. So we got the Ohio kid and this Ohio kid, athlete-wise. I think it's worth putting scholarships on both because, again, athletes, you just never know. So I'm going to do the bare minimum. We'll do coach prestige. Uh, let's do location again. Sorry, let's get that location out of the way. And let's do location for him. Let's look at our scholarships. We've got nine left, so i got to be careful. Quarterback, the only one that I really liked this kid runs a 4.82. It's just not fast enough. I need some speed there, and this kid fits that. And we have one committed already. I wouldn't mind finding one more. So I think I'm going to just leave it as is. I just don't – I mean, 
unless this kid, I mean, can I do like the bare minimum? I can do that. I mean, he he can still pitch the ball and whatnot. He's just a JUCO, so he could be a, like a serviceable ba- serviceable backup for us for a couple years. But that's the most I'm going to do there. None of these A backs, from what I remember, were fast enough for my liking. So I'm not going to bother. Even this four three five kid, still not fast enough. We need somebody in the four twos. B back, we didn't recruit any wide receiver. None. Uh, let me go to no tight ends tackle. Did I scout any of these guys that I liked? Was there one, I think it was down here, that has like a 700, Nate Williams. Ah, Maybe that was it. Maybe he was the only one that I liked. Nate Williams, 655 on the squat. The rest of these, like I probably should have scouted this kid. I didn't. 640. See, these guys just aren't up to snuff. And I probably could have scouted this kid, 620. Again, none of these guys just really looked apart. So I may, just for... Depth purposes, I probably just go after this Williams kid just because of his weight, his size, and his strength. So let's do the bare minimum. Let's go location on him. Guard, and there was one kid I know we scouted. Did we scout? We didn't scout a single guard. This kid right here. This is the one, maybe. 585, I thought there was another one we scouted. Maybe there was. I could have swore I thought there was somebody else we scouted really hard. We didn't scout. Oh, it was a one-star. 585, see, that's just not heavy enough or strong enough. I wasn't impressed with any of these. I need a lot of heavy dudes who can really push guys around, and I didn't see it. Thankfully, we got five guys, and we already got one already committed, so we're kind of okay at guards. I'm okay there. Let's look at these two centers again. I know we just picked up a really good one, a Juco. This kid right here, maybe. So I may put a scholarship on him. We'll do the bare minimum there. So now we got, what, six scholarships? So defensive end, this is kind of important. Let's look at these. A Florida kid, Illinois, we're not going to do it. Michigan, do we have – here's a positive pitch. This kid doesn't really fit what I was looking for. Runs a 4.69. He's not very big. Let me look at these other ones. Do I have a positive pitch with any of these? We need some bodies here. And I'm already down to the two-star. I don't think I scouted any of them, did I? I didn't scout him. So let's go up to that kid. Let's just go ahead. I think we can we can get him, Kenny Freeman. Let's just go ahead and do that, put him on the list. But these other ones, this kid right here I really liked. I liked his size, so he can at least push some dudes around. Let's go location for him. So that's three defensive ends we're going after. Was there anybody else? I think that was it. Those are the only two three stars, and that's the local four-star kid. I think that was it. And I'm not really excited about going after any of these little two-star kids. They're all just, I think that's good enough for now. If we can get a couple, that would be fine. We only need about, let's say, three. We got three. If we can get two of those to commit, that gives us five. I think that'll be okay. We're already going after two defensive tackles. Uh, 6'4", 6'55". Do we have a positive pitch there? I think that was it. So I think we're kind of okay at defensive tackle if we can get maybe one of those commitments. I could probably put a scholarship on this kid just in case another one of these two guys do not commit. We can do that. Outside linebacker just scared me half to death, I'm not going to lie. Just nothing really looked all that great right here. If, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not excited about him. I think what we got on the roster now is just as good as what he is. But this middle linebacker, we need him in the worst way. Unfortunately, nobody else wanted to commit or was on the list. Cornerback. Here was that was a four-star corner. I'm just I'm glad I didn't miss that. We did look at, let me look and see if I had any positive pitches. I think that was it. So we just scouted a few of these guys. Let me go. 426, A minus 6 point. Now that's pretty good. 437 A, an inch taller, 424 B. And was that it? So these two, 424 4 and the 426. 315, 280. This kid's really skinny. Uh, we can go ahead and put scholarships on them. I'm just thinking for depth purposes. And, of course, we play a lot of nickel whenever we need to. Let me go location for that kid. So how many scholarships? We got one scholarship left, so I may need to take one of these off. We don't need a free safety. We're good at strong safety. It comes down to these kickers. We're already recruiting them. Those are the only ones I really cared about. Uh, I can scout this kid. Why wasn't he on the list before? A plus B. 
Why didn't I scout him earlier? What am I doing? I scouted this kid. We're not going to go after him. And we didn't have any punters. In so this random kids are just popping up on our list. That's odd. That is very rare. I'm not going to, I mean, I can scout him. B plus B. But we're down to, what, one scholarship? I don't have to use it just yet. So I'm going to go to current targets. And now let's use the rest of our points on week two, guys. Week two, as we all know, these are the guys that aren't, we don't have us in our top five, but maybe we can get in their top five by week three. So let's go to athlete. Let's go to all targets. I'm sorry, all prospects. We'll start at athlete, and we'll just keep going down. I'm going to hurry this up, make it a little bit easier on us. We'll go down to the twos. Uh, here's like a two-star kid out of South Dakota I can look at. Uh, four, he's a Juco. 433. That's pretty fast. He may be decent at something. Let me go ahead and write him down. It is an athlete. And his name is A Rich. Andrew Rich. So we'll put him down the rest of these. Let me speed this up. And uh, I think that was it. A bunch of more two stars. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna move on. We got more fish or bigger fish to fry. Let's look at quarterback. Nobody. Oh, here's a couple two-star kids. Let's look at them. Local kid, Corey Williams. Five. Nope, too slow. Ain't going to bother there. Here's another two-star kid. Four, seven, three, and his arm is terrible, so we're not going to bother. No point in putting his name down if I don't want him. You just never know. There may be a little two-star can run like a four, three or something. Here's another little two-star. I think we already looked at it. Uh, uh, yeah, the Juco I'm not from North Carolina. I'm not going to bother. And we're down to the ones. So let's go to ABAC. Five-star Maryland kid wants to come here. But what I do want to see is actually what I need to do. Let me go over to state prospects. I didn't think about it. This is probably a good way to do this. I just want to look at these four-star kids. Like here's an outside linebacker we need to go after. Let's just go ahead and put his name down. This kid would be a day one starter. Outside linebacker. R. Bullocks. Again, this is local four-star. Well, let me speed it up. Here's a an A back. He looks to be a power guy. Four three nine. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, yeah, I mean he could be maybe a good B back. For I'll, I'll put his name down. You just never know. G. Alford. We'll do that. Let's keep going. Here's a guard, 6'1", 343. Jeez, we need him in the worst way. Look how huge he is in 665 on the squat. Got to get this kid. Dan West. You hardly ever see me do this by state, but I figured that was a good idea just because of what we're doing here. But here's some two stars. We can go look at them later. So let's back out. Let's go back to all prospects. Let's go back to what was a guard. That's where we're at, if I'm not mistaken. Or that I completely missed something. Was it a back? I think I may have missed some of these. My bad. So let's go to wide receiver. I think this is where we're at. I'm not going to bother with the true fullbacks. They just don't fit what we do. Let me look at the wide receivers. None of them are interested. Not a single one. We're down to the two stars. And that is a ton of two-star wide receivers. And there's nothing there. Let's go to tight end. Anybody interested? Anybody. Look for the down arrows. I'm not seeing any. All right. Tackle. Okay. Now we got a couple of kids. 6'5", 294. Okay. 6'20". I mean, this guy looks okay. I'm going to write his name down, though. Tackle. Brad Palmer. Couple two star kids are already interested, already have us in their top five. Here is a 66308 tackle. If I can do it, there we go. 655. This guy looks a little bit more impressive. I'm going to put his name down. V Parks. And there's a couple more. Oh, look at that kid. Oh, look at that kid. These guys are huge. Out of Pennsylvania. Definitely put this name down. Jason Johnson, tackle. Jay Johnson. Six seven three hundred twenty four pounds six eighty on the squat, man. Please put us in your top five. 
And Blaine Tatum, 6'3", six, six, oh, six. Did I do that correctly? Yes. Let me look here. I got that speed thing on. Uh, I'm not going to put his name down. We already got three of them listed there. I'm going to move on. Let's go to guard. Here is a four-star Kentucky kid. I'm not going to do it. Not in-state. Uh, four-star. We've already looked. It shouldn't be Ohio. We've already went through those. But we can go through the rest of these. Can we find a down arrow of somebody that doesn't have us in their top five? This kid, for example, 67307 out of Maryland. 680 on the squat, though. This kid may be worth going after. That's one of the higher squats we've seen so far. Definitely put his name down. And these guys already have us on their list. Uh, here is one right here. 63286. That's too little. Sorry. I need weight. Plenty of it. Guard, 63. That's too little. Sorry, fella. Okay. I, I think I'm going to move on. Center. We already got one committed. We already got one that we are going after, but you just never know. 63287 out of Michigan. How many points? I got 97 points. I'm doing okay. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I could put his name down at least. Joe Covington. We can move on. Here's another two star kid. It probably ain't going to be that worth it. And he's in North Carolina. So let's just move on. All right. Defensive end. Uh, we're already down to the three-star. Okay, here are a couple three-star kids. Alabama and Missouri. I, I don't mind going down that far because we kind of need some help here. So look at this thing. 465, 240. This guy looks the part. Not the strongest compared to this one. But we're going to put down both of their names. So one is defensive end. Jay Roberson. Or Roberson, however you want to say it. The other one, Matt Young. Okay. Let's keep going. Here are a couple more. 6'3", 390 out of Joyzy. This kid is gigantic. We'll put his name down. Gabe Jackson. And the other one was what? This kid right here out of Pennsylvania, 6'4", 247. 535 on squad, that's okay. Not the greatest, but I'll put his name down. We got another Jackson. And here's a, another three-star kid, 6-1 out of Idaho. I may pluck him out of the potato state. Uh, 570 on the squad. I'll put his name down. We need bodies here anyway, so let me go just do that. Bomar. I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, we're going to move on. Defensive tackle. Again, we don't have a lot of spots to fill, so I'm not going to really dig into the weeds for some of these kids. Uh, defensive tackle, Pennsylvania, 620 on the squat, 282 pounds. I'll put his name down. That is Charles Higdon. Misspelled his name. I butchered it. The rest of these, uh, like 65280 out of New Hampshire. If I can do it. There we go. 620. I'll put his name down. Jay Williams. Outside linebacker. I kind of wish we have... Like, okay, here's a four-star kid, but again, he's out of Pennsylvania. That's, in, that's not in-state. Three-star, Virginia. Four-four, yes. We need speed here. Kramer. Definitely write that name down. Hopefully, he'll put us in his top five later on. Two-star kid. How many points? I got 43 points. I got to be careful. Is this guy fast? No. I think I'm going to move on. Middle linebacker. This is more important. Here's a three-star kid out of Virginia. That's a pipeline. If I can get my... If I can do it. There we go. Four, four, six. Definitely. 242 pounds. 670 on the squat. This is the reason why middle linebackers tend to be better at defensive end than natural defensive ends, because usually their squats are so much better craft, and they're faster, they're just a better athlete. Here's another three-star kid out of Mississippi. I can scout him, because, again, we need help here in the worst way. Middle linebacker, Doug Butler. And I'm going to go, I won't go to the two stars. Here's another three-star kid out of Virginia. We're down to 28 points. Oh, geez. I'm going to wait. Uh, another three-star. Uh, let's scout him. 
for the answers. Go ahead and do it. This is a position of need. Uh, a. Jones. And I think I'm going to stop there because I'm running out of points. Cornerback. Like, here's a four-star, but he's Pennsylvania. We've already went through the four stars. Here's a three-star, Juco. Here's another three-star out of Michigan, 6'1", 176. Let's go, let's go to kicker. This is a little more important at the moment. Here's a two-star. I'm not really worried about that. He's out of Florida. Two-star, New York. And we're already going after like three guys. Punter, for anybody here we may look at, like here's a two-star. Out of Ohio, I may scout him. Not a bad-looking kid. I mean, A and B, that's pretty good. I'm going to put his name down. Eric Gates. So I'm down to 19 points, and I'm already down to these two-star kids. So let's go back to current targets. I can take the delimiter off. And let's go find the positive pitches. And there weren't many. Like this kid right here, we're going to do seven for him. And that may have been it. We don't have hardly any positive pitches after that week one. But I want to check just to make sure. We're down to five points. I may not be able to put them hardly anywhere. Okay, so that's it for any of the positive pitches. Let's go all the way back up. This defensive end, I don't think we're going to get him. I think he's going to Michigan State. So I'm going to move on. This kicker, honestly, I don't mind putting points on that more on him. And this defensive end, we've already done that. Quarterback, uh, no. I'd rather put some more like on this kid. Let's do four there. So now we're down to zero points. Let me do that again. I goofed up. There we go. All right, so we're down to zero points. So let us move on to the next week. We picked up another commitment, three-star defensive tackle, J.P. Clark. He's not the biggest in the world, but I'm glad we're going to get him because we just need more bodies there. So now let's go to current targets and let's and this guy still hasn't committed to michigan state yet but we got a coach for stage oh you got to be kidding can we get this kid now he doesn't fit i mean he's really small for his position i, I prefer somebody a little bit heavier but he's a four-star kid he's 655 on the squad that's really good for a defensive end especially for somebody that skinny well at least we know we can dump as many points as we can on that kid so that's good so let's be, keep going uh Let's go and find, let's go coach prestige for this kid. Let's make sure I didn't skip anybody. Positive pitch for this kid. I'm going to put 16 for defensive end, Kenny Freeman. Nothing here. Let's just go coach prestige. Defensive tackle, we'll go coach prestige. And I'm at Cal Walker, so let me not forget that. Do we have anybody that, that committed elsewhere? Not a single one. Nice. So let's go back. Walker, we've already done that. We put... Uh, we're going Coach Prestige on that one. How about this kid? Location. Boom. There you go. Now, is he going to go to Purdue? Not if we have something to say about it. So let's go. Again, that's the one we just done. Defensive end. Positive pitch. There we go. We may load up on some defensive ends in this class. Coach Prestige. That's the next like, most popular one. Location. What did I tell you? That's kind of a big deal with these little uh, three-star and below kids. Coach Prestige. Location, location, quarterback, location. I'm going to do 16 for him. For the kicker, this kid's going to be a great player for us, I think. A minus, B plus, that's good enough. Better than what we got right now, I'm pretty sure. Let's go coach prestige for him. Location, location. Then we got uh, coaching. Let's do coach prestige for this kid. Another kicker, golly. And we're already down to 29 points. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm going to do eight for this kid. Like, we're running out of points already. That was really good. We're going to get a whole lot more players than I thought. So, interested prospects. Let's keep it simple. So, here's this Ohio kid. Four-star outside linebacker. We have to put a scholarship on him. He put us in his top five. So, we, we just got to. There's just nobody, no other reason why we shouldn't. So, let's go coach prestige on him. And now we're at a scholarship. There's nothing I could do at this point. We're at a scholarship, so all I can do now is these remaining points is dump them on another positive pitch that I didn't do that earlier. Let me go find one really quick. Like this kid right here, we'll do 30 on that one. I may not be able to do it for the rest of these. Like there's 14 points. I can't do it there. Can't do it there. 
I think I maxed out these other positive pitches. Yep, maxed him out. I can't do a fair. And I'm doing the bare minimum for the rest of these kids. We maxed him out. I can't do a fair. I can, ooh, man, I can't do a fair. Dang it. I'll have to do eight here. I'll have to leave it. Uh, so we'll just put these other points on somebody. This outside linebacker, I'm just going to, like, put four on him. And I'm going to do, like, four on this kid, on this kicker. And let me just go find a local kid. We'll do that. So we're now we're down to zero points. And that was a very quick week because we had a lot of people with positive pitches. And we just kind of ran out of points. So let's just go ahead and advance to the next week. Three more commitments. Quarterback, Lance Fine, local kid. I think he's the one that runs the 473. That's going to be okay enough. At least he's going to be another body for us. And we got the one corner, and I was looking for just any of them. They all kind of look the same. So I'm going to mark him off. And we picked up a tackle. I'm going to mark off that as well. A little two-star kid, but he's got the weight and he's got the strength. 655 is about as good as we saw from that position. So let's go back to current targets. I'm going to go ahead and take off anybody that committed elsewhere. So this outside linebacker went to Michigan State. That was worth a shot on him. I'm going to back off of that one. Here's a couple defensive tackles. Went elsewhere. I'm not even looking and seeing where they're going. Middle linebacker, that's unfortunate. Uh, so let me look. Defense attack, we got one committed. We already got five. It's linebackers what concerns me a little bit in defensive end. And we'll just keep going the rest of the way. So let me go back to the very top. Look at that. We are getting closer and closer with this kid. So what we're going to do is max out that. Kicker, I'm going to put 16 on him. We're going to put 16 on this defensive end. Quarterback, Quentin Bonds, 482. Honestly, I'm wasting my time going after this kid. He's just not fast enough. So I think I'm going to take a scholarship off of him. We need to put that on somebody else. I think we'll do that. Uh, here's another positive pitch for a defensive end. We need a couple of these guys to commit. Cornerback, I don't – how many scholarships do I have? I got five left. We can still – I don't know. I mean, I, I can still go after this kid. I'm going to go coaching style this time. Kicker, we – yes, we'll take as many as we can. We just need to find somebody that's good enough. All right, athlete, positive pitch. He may have had a positive pitch earlier, and I just didn't see it. Kicker, here's another one. Uh, center, yes, can't have too many of those. Uh, athlete, let's do coaching style. Do the bare minimum until we figure out what he's into. All right, and that is it. So we got five scholarships left, so I'm going to go back to interested prospects, and let's go find some of these dudes that we were kind of going after in week two. So here is Rich. Ooh, we're down to 22 points. i got to be careful. So here's a Juco kid, 4-3-3. Is it worth going after him? I don't know. Uh, let me take off Bullocks. He wasn't on the list. Let's look at some of these other ones first. Quarterback. I did not have any quarterback on here. Let's go to halfback. Alford. Is this him? Yes, Grant Alford. 4-3-9. Honestly, I don't. I think he's more of a B-back just because of his size, and his, he's not fast enough to be A-back for me. And we got plenty of B-backs, so I think I'm just not going to bother with him. I think we got plenty of bodies there. Let me go to tackle. We already got one guy committed. We already got another one committed. We actually got two committed. We got six of them. So I wrote down three tackles, Palmer, Parks, and Johnson. Here are Parks and Johnson. Were either of these two kids just worth my time? 655, this kid's 680. This one's probably the one that's worth going after. So I'm going to go ahead and just put one, put location on him because he's humongous and he has a 680 on the squat. So let's do that. The other two, I'm not going to bother since we already got a couple committed. Let me take Parks off. I'm going to take Palmer off. I got a couple guards I'm looking at. West and Cook. There is Cook. 6'7", 307, 680 on the squats. I can go ahead and put a, a scholarship on him. Maybe he's, I got three left. Where is West? Was he on there anywhere? I had him listed above the other one, above Cook. I don't see him anywhere, so I guess we're going to move on. Next up, we have center, what was it, Covington? He's not on that list. Oh, yeah, he committed elsewhere, so I can mark him off. 
Defensive end, we got three guys that I think two of them are going to commit. We just need them to actually do it. But I did write a few defensive end names down. Like Dargan, no, that wasn't him. Young, Jackson, and Bones. I don't even, I can't even say my, or read my own writing. Young was one of them, and Jackson was another one. So these two right here. Kid out of Missouri, 605, 620. This kid, let me just look at. I'm going to, mm, I'm going to, let's go ahead and do it. If I need to take a, one off of somebody, I can. I'm going to go straight over to defensive tackle. And I don't see him on there. Uh, see, uh, hi, gosh, I can't even read my own writing. That's terrible. Williams, uh, Jay, we got two Jay Williams on here, New Hampshire kid. And I didn't go after this kid. So it's that's the one I didn't – I'm kind of okay without going after him. We already got one committed, so we can just move on, I think. Let's go to outside linebacker. Kramer. This kid definitely – I liked what I saw. 448B. He was the only one that I put on here. So let's just go location for him. Middle linebacker, Butler and Jones. 443A plus that he looks the part. This kid looks the part as well. So I'm going to put scholarships on both of them since we already had that one middle linebacker commit elsewhere. So let's go location for him. And I'm out of scholarships. Oh, you got to be kidding. Uh, okay. Uh, I may go take somebody off and put one on Jones. We didn't go after any more corners. Uh, there was a punter I looked at, and th this kid isn't it. So let me go look at my other current targets. And let me go down to the bottom here. Do I need to bother with any of these kids like here is the athlete i want to keep the kicker b plus a minus b plus i want to keep these athletes this corner isn't for he kind of fits what i'm looking for uh i want to keep him this guard maybe i may take off i think we got plenty of bodies here we got five and six i think i may just take it off of him do we have a positive pitch no we don't i want to take it off of him and we're going to go after that middle linebacker that we didn't have room for this kid right here, Adam Jones out of Virginia. Let's go put a scholarship on this kid. And that should do it. I think I'm going to go location. Now we'll go back to current targets and we got 12 points left. So who are we going to max it out on? Can we do it on anybody? I can't do it there unless I take it off somebody else. Can't do it there. Uh, I may have maxed out everywhere else. I wish I had 14 points instead of 12. I know I can probably sacrifice somewhere else, but you got to show some of these kids some love. Can't do it there. We've maxed him out. Can't do it there. Maxed him out. And that is it. So let me go back to the very top. Just make sure I've got these where I want them. We're going to put these 12 points. We'll put eight points on this kid. I'm going to put... Eight points there. All right. Yeah, let's just do that. Billy Kramer. That's good. So we could take that off. So now we're down to zero points. Let me make sure I've done that correctly. And I did. So we are moving on to the next week. Look at there. A bunch of commitments. Middle linebacker, Doug Butler. He is a week two player. Freeman. He is a week two player. Brent Webb. Is he a week two player? I don't think he is, but we must be going after him since the beginning. Good to have him in the fold. We needed some help there. We got our kicker, Cedric Bryant, A minus B plus. And if he's the only one we can get, then so be it. We did pick up an athlete. We'll see where he can land. And we did pick up that two star center. So we can knock that out as well. Uh, middle linebacker, that's good. Okay, so let's go back to current targets. Let's take out the ones that committed elsewhere, like Kramer. We tried, just didn't work. And we got another middle linebacker. And that is it. So let's go back to the very top. And somehow we've moved up for Bo Wilson. Like we've tried and we've tried and we're slowly getting there. So let's keep going with that. Another kicker. And we're, we're trying. I want to get as many as we can here until we can find one that can fit. Defensive end, Gabe Jackson. I'm going to do coach prestige for him. And this is the last week. This is week five now. Tackle. I want this kid. Let me just go two for now. Cornerback. Um, I'm going to withdraw that offer. I just don't think he fits what we're looking for. Kicker, 
we got 16 here. Athletes, I'm going to do playing time. And that is it. And there was really nobody else on the interested prospects. Like, here's the quarterback that I out of Pennsylvania. Yeah, he was too slow. I don't think there's anybody else we was really going after hard. So let's go back to current targets. And I'm going to max out the ones that do not have a positive pitch. Like, for example, let me just look here really quick. Like, uh, I can do th 30 for him. But what I'm getting at here is you go back to right here, like this kid right here. I'd love to have this kid. So I'm going to put like eight on him. I want to put like eight on this tackle. Now we get down to these two star kids. I want a little athlete. Let's do eight for him. And then we got five points. We can kind of put this on whoever. Uh, I can't do it there. Uh, we've maxed him out. We've maxed him out. I can do like eight there. Uh, actually, I need to go back. We'll do that. I may have a hard. Uh, we'll do. Nope, can't do it there either. And we're kind of, well, there's not much else I can do. I'm down to five points. I could put it on another scholarship on somebody else. I can go back to that cornerback, maybe. See, that's eight points difference there. I kind of want to use these points, and I'm not finding the luck for that. Like what I can do, like I, I want to max that kid out as best I can because he's got the positive pitch. Well, uh, I don't know. Let's go back to interesting prospects and like this corner right here was that was that the kid? I don't even think that was him. Like this guy was way down here, that cornerback wherever he was. Unless I'm thinking of somebody else, and I very well could be. I'm gonna max him out. Let me see if I can just figure this out really quick. Uh, I'm gonna max him out. I may do like, oh gosh, I may just have to sacrifice those five points. Tackle, I think I may just do that. Unless, again, if I can find another prospect that's just worth putting points off, like this Andrew Rich kid, let's just go coach prestige on him, I guess. I don't know what else to do, honestly, so let's just go ahead and do that. So if you go back to current targets, we're down to like one point. So I think we're going to be good there. There's nobody else... I can really put that on. Everybody's already maxed out. So I think we are officially done with the recruiting as soon as I go through this. And yep, yeah, I think we're done. So let's move on and finalize recruiting. We finally got Bo Wilson. We went after him since week one and we finally reeled him in. We picked up another tackle, that humongous kid. I think this kid has a future for us. We got an athlete. That was a last second thing. Remember, the literally the last thing I did in week five was put a scholarship on him just for the sake of it. And this kid may be a stud for us with something. Now, he's a junior. I'm a Juco. We're going to get a couple years out of him, but you never know. And we got another kicker. So let's go to top classes first, and then we'll go look at our signings really quick. Mississippi State, Florida, A&M, Ohio State. Who would have thought Mississippi State would have got the top class? But they got several five-star kids. Where are we? I bet, I don't know how many we picked up. We got 31st in the country. We ended up getting 20 kids. That is like 10 more than I wanted. <laughs> we got a lot of kids, but we'll figure it out once we head over to cutting players and such. But 20 players, incredible. So let's go to view signings. Two athletes. Again, you can never have too many of these. These guys can be really good for you at one spot or another. You're just taking a chance since both of these are two stars. You got quarterback. We got the two that I was looking for. And there they are, unless one of those athletes are quarterbacks. But Tyler Randall and Lance Fine. A-back, we didn't need any. Fullback or B-back, we didn't need any. We got the one receiver we was looking at. No tight ends. We picked up three tackles. More than I expected, but you can't have too many offensive linemen. And we, all three of these guys are humongous. One of them may end up going to, like, guard if we needed it. But we, we didn't need it. We got one guard coming in, a three-star kid. Center, two of them. We've done a good job there. Defensive end, we picked up three. I wanted two. We got three. So we loaded up there. Defensive tackle, I had wrote down as one. So there's our one. Outside linebacker, unfortunately, we couldn't find anybody. We did pick up a middle linebacker, Doug Butler. Excited about that. He'll probably start for us. Corner, we picked up one. That's what I wanted. 
free safety. We didn't need any. We picked up one great strong safety. I'm really excited about this kid. And we picked up a couple of kickers. I'm hoping both of them are good enough to where we can play both of them and I will have to cut somebody because we got three kickers and a punter already. And we didn't get any punters, like I said. So let's move on and finalize recruiting. And we're going to head over to position changes. So here we are, 76 total players. So I really don't have to cut six once we get to that spot. So when it comes to quarterback, Carlton Jackson, Ferguson, fine is a 72 overall, just 72 speed. But I'm, I'm happy we got Randall. He'll be a nice little backup for us. Just it's nice to have a little bit of speed right there. We didn't pick up any A-backs, but what I do need to do is go to Harold with this 80 speed. I'm going to move him over to B-back. He should transition well. I know it said 62 overall, but he should bump up pretty easily. We don't need to move anybody here. Wide receiver, we don't need to move anybody either. And we did pick up one new guy, and that was this kid right here, Jason Coleman, 70 overall, 80 speed, but he is humongous. Tight end, we didn't have to do anything here. I wanted to pick up somebody else. It just didn't work out, but we don't have to move anybody. Tack tackle, we got a ton of them. So let me go, let's see. Here's a true freshman. That's a good pickup, Jason Johnson. That's that one kid that with him. He's a week two player, and he's a 72 overall. These two guys will bump up. I'm going to go right tackle, left and right. Uh, all that's, let me go, let me go like, it, it doesn't really matter. We'll just go left. I'll, I'll change them around later if need be. But we'll do something like that. Guard, we did pick up one of them. This kid right here, 70 overall, not bad, 6'1", 335. I think he was the end season player that we picked up. That's good. Center. We picked up this kid right here, Thomas McNeil. Really good. Or was it? Uh, yes. I'm pretty. Yeah. And Alfred McBride as well. But a great pickup there right here. Now, this guy's just a sophomore. But as you could tell, he'll definitely be a day one starter for us. So we don't have to move a whole lot of guys around yet. Let's look at defensive end. We're going to put Grant at left end. Right end, 80. Uh, let's go. Awareness. This kid's got 74 speed. I'm going to put this kid at right. We need the really heavy ones at right end. It's 244. None of these guys are really heavy. This guy needs to be a left end for sure. 239, true freshman. This guy's going to be a right end for us. 244 and 247. I think I may leave that as is, but that's a good little group. If you go back and look... 80 overall true freshman Bo Williams. Good pickup. True freshman Kenny Freeman. He was another week two player. Good pickup. 80 overall. I may, again, it doesn't, I'll probably redshirt this one maybe. Uh, let me actually, let me go, let me go right in for him and I'll go like left for this one. Again, uh, they're interchangeable. Defensive tackle, we picked up, if I'm not mistaken, J.P. Clark. 72 overall. Really happy with that. He was our lone new guy. Outside linebacker, we didn't pick up anybody. But I don't really need to move anybody here. I'm pretty sure all left outside linebackers are your true outside linebacker. So I'm going to go left for all three of these guys. Very good chance that Stokes is going to be our starter at left outside linebacker because true freshman Doug Butler. 78 overall. 86 speed. Boom! This kid's going to be a stud for us. I can't wait to see him on the field. Great pickup, Al. Otherwise, we don't have to do anything different here. And again, we only play one middle linebacker at a time. Corner, we did pick up one of them. I think it was this kid right here, Oliver McCutcheon. 94 speed. Guess what? He may be our new nickelback coming off the edge, blitzing for us, because we're going to have Carter and Walker on the outside. Somebody's going to be doing something of that sort. Uh, we'll just see what happens there. But I like what we're seeing here. Free safety, we didn't have to do anything. Strong safety, we did pick up Ryan McIntosh. Very good chance we'll redshirt him, which is fine. We don't need him for this year. We got Pace and Hickman. We're going to have Samuel behind them as well. So here are the three kickers. We picked up two. True freshman, Cedric Bright, and Jonathan Swain, 62 overall. Can any of these guys kick? That's the key. You look here, kick power, 86, they're all kind of the same. 84, 82, 86, 80, 82, 82. 
and we didn't pick up any good punters. So I'm going to – Anthony Garner is probably going to be our starter. I'm going to redshirt one as the backup the future, and another guy is probably going to be our other punter. I need somebody who can – who's got the better power? The – like, can I, I may move him over to punter. We may do that. I think Brian's got the better leg in the future wise. Kick power and accuracy. Yes, I think I'm okay with that. So Brian's going to red shirt. Garner's going to start. And Swain is probably going to be our new true punter, which is fine. We don't punt enough anyway, so I'm happy with that. All right, we have two athletes. Where are we going to put these kids? So Andrew Rich, 91 speed. What can he do? 70 at A back. Looks like he is destined to play defense, though. Let's see where he's going. 65 at outside linebacker. 68 at corner. Like, a backs as best as he can do. And he can't really carry. He's 72 carry. 6'2", 187. That may be where I have to put him. I may have to put him at a back. There's nowhere else that just makes sense at the moment. Like, I can't put him at, I mean, can't do it there. 65, 68 at corner. He's got the height and a good enough speed, but we got way too many quarters as is. Oops, let me go back. So I don't know. I don't need any strong safeties. I don't need any more free safeties. I got way too many corners. I can't put him at wide receiver. He's just not big enough, not strong enough. I think he's destined to play a back. So that's where we're going to put him. 91 speed, but hey, guess what? When you put him over there, he's already our second fastest a back when you do that. So I think that was a good pickup for us. I need to go do that. But at least we can redshirt him. He's a junior. That's fine. He'll be a good serviceable backup unless we can get him going maybe in another year or two. We'll see. Let's go over to one more. Brian Elamine. So quarterback, 68 overall. Interesting. So he's got 78 speed. Let's keep going. He looks destined to be an offensive player. 65 at the secondary positions. His best position is quarterback. That is interesting. So it looks like we're going to pick up three quarterbacks. I'm going to put him there. So when you go over to quarterback, there he is. True freshman. Ideal fit for what we're looking for. So between him and Randall and Fine, I think we're doing okay at quarterback. So I think we're done at position changes. So let's move on to the next step. Here we are, position changes. We put a lot of points into this, so this should help us. Let's go position by position. I'm going to go and soar by overall. Jackson went up four. Ferguson went up four, and that's good to see. A-back. Garner went up a couple. Looks like Newell and Hall went up four piece. That's good, so we're building a little depth there. B-back. Six for McDaniel. Good for him. Wow, that's a big boost. And he's just a junior. If he doesn't fumble as much, he could be very helpful for us. And look at Harold. That's the kid that moved from A to B. And now he went up to 74, just like that. Now that we got more than enough uh, at that position. Wide receiver, Williams and Morris went up four apiece. That's really good. Those were our two starters, if I'm not mistaken. Good to see that. Tight end, everybody went up either two or four. Cruz went up four. Uh, the rest, again, went up two. Tackle, Shep went up four. Right went up four. That's good to see. That's left tackle. Then you go to left guard, 70 and 65. Uh, our one center went up 74. That's good. Guard, right guard, Brewster, 78 now. Right tackle, look at that. Zach Anderson, dang it, he's two, he weighs 260 pounds. <laughs> Why can't you be 360? <laughs> Defensive end, Good to see Grant go up, and now he's an 85 overall. Uh, right in, Doug Williams now at 84. The defensive tackles, 80 and 72. Left outside linebacker, Stokes. They, he's going to start for us along with our true freshman middle linebacker. Uh, but Hal is going to be a good backup for us behind our Butler, our starter at middle linebacker, the freshman. Corner. Looks like Carter and Walker are going to be starting for us, but it looks like Carter went up four. That's great. Excellent to see that. Free safety, Rodgers, good to see him get barely above the rest of them. Yes, Brown's got better awareness, but Rodgers has got the speed, and he started every single snap for us, or played every snap, I should say. You look at our strong safety, Pace is back. The stud, 90 overall. Then we got Samuel Hickman. Everybody went up either two or four. We had a kicker. Our senior kicker went up three. And our uh, redshirt freshman punter 
went up three. Evan Young. I forgot that he redshirted. Maybe our kick or Garner, he done both. I just now realized that, that he did. Interesting. All right. Pretty good on the training results, so let's move on to the next step. We need to cut six players. How are we going to do that? We need to go to the positions that are going to drop off that we just do not need anybody. So let's go at quarterback. I actually want all five of these. I mean, we're not going to cut any of these freshmen. Ferguson, we could probably cut, but I'm okay with not doing that. And besides, he's actually halfway decent. Like if Jackson went down, then I almost would probably play Ferguson for a little bit until we figured it out. So let's just move on. We could probably find somebody else. Like here's Andrew Rich. That's an athlete. We're definitely going to keep him on the list. Here's a Patrick Hall, 85 speed. I may cut him possibly. Let's just keep going, though. Bunch of B-backs. Actually, way too many. I'm going to probably cut Birchy. No offense to you. I don't know. Let's just keep going. I uh, can't cut any of these guys. We're having a hard time recruiting them as he is. T uh, tight end. I may cut this kid, Junior. I hate to cut a senior who's been here, that type of thing. So we can do that. We got a ton of tackles. I'm going to cut Jordan Lee. I think we got him last year. I just don't think that's going to work out. We got a guard. Here's a 60 senior. Oh, I hate to do it. But let's just keep going. A ton of senior. Here's a junior that I don't think we'll ever play. Let's cut him. Defensive end. Here's another junior. I'm just kind of thinking this is going to help our recruiting class, you know, a year from now. 68. This guy, 250. Let's cut him. I think we got like maybe two more left. I'm not ready to cut any of these guys. No, no, we need bodies there. Corner, we could probably cut like this kid right here, Brandon Anderson. Did I recruit him? No, he's a redshirt sophomore. I think he was already on the team and he's really slow. And I don't want to cut a senior, so let's just go ahead and do that. Free safety, no. Strong safety, we got a bunch here. I'm not going to cut the freshman. Jason Cade, uh, like this Samuel kid is really slow, and he's a 74. Kicker, Garner's going to start. This guy's going to be our starter after he's gone. We got him, and we got him, so it's like, do you cut the redshirt freshman? Let me go back. Again, I think I only got like one more I have to do. I'm not going to cut any of those. I'm not going to cut the athlete that we just put there. Red shirt friend. This I may cut this kid. He's just really slow, and he's not big enough to be a B-back. So I'm going to take the chance and do that. Okay, so now we're down to four A-backs. Gardner, Allen, and Newell will handle all of it. If one of them goes down, we can put in Rich. I think we're going to be fine. A lot of times, I only need to be have one out there, so I, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. But now that this went back to white, that means we can head on and we have, have our 70 players. And that is it. We are done with recruiting the offseason. This is our final look at our new roster. I may switch out a couple of jersey numbers depending on these new freshmen, these new incomers. We'll just see. But you look at our overall, we got 190 plus player. I think we had Crouch was a 91 overall. But cool to see Pace on there. Look, Brandon Gardner, he's an impact guy. Kaboom! That's huge. He took it away from Jackson. That is interesting. So Jackson is no longer an impact guy, but I think it's probably best if this guy is. Well, I don't know. I'd love to have both of them as impact players. But we got two good defensive ends. McDaniels right up there. So you go to quarterback. Of course, we got Jackson, Ferguson. We got these three freshmen. I I like all of their numbers. No, none of these three stand out as they need special numbers. They're all getting good uh, low numbers anyway, so I'm okay with what they have right there. 19 for Lance Fine, 14 for Brian Eli, Elimimian, I guess that's how you say it, then Tyler Randall at 16, all that's fine by me. A-back, Garner, of course, he's going to be a stud. What I do want to check out is Rich. I'm okay with that. 91 speed, number seven, little speedster. I think that's going to work out okay. Let's just keep going. B-back, we didn't get anybody new here. You go to wide receiver, and I'm not looking super hard at these overalls. Again, McDaniel's looking really good and whatnot. Wide receiver, not a lot's going to change here. I mean, our three starters came back, Williams, Morrison, Long. Our freshman, uh, big guy, Jason Coleman, 
89, that's perfectly fine. Until he starts making killer plays for us, I can, I'm can. i going to leave that number as is. Then you go to tight end. We didn't get anybody new here, but this is going to be a priority for us. We need some bigger dudes here heading in to the next offseason. Tackle, we picked up some new guys. I'm not going to switch out numbers or anything, not for offensive linemen. But Victor Hampton is 70, 72 uh, for his jersey number. We've got 79 for Nate Williams. Guard, we picked up one at least. Kevin Whitlock, a 71 overall. And maybe we got another one? Or did we pick up a Juco? Maybe that was the only one we picked up. Center, this kid's – thank the Lord for this kid. Glad to have him. He's definitely a day one starter for us. 63, Thomas McNeil. And we did pick up this true freshman as well. We'll definitely redshirt him. We'll do that in the next video. Defensive end, we picked up some studs. First of all, these two kids right here, Bo Wilson – we're going to give him a new number, 94. Anybody that's 80-plus as a freshman, you need a new number, unless it's a good number already. So he's number 94. Let's give him something else. Let's just give him a single digit. Let's give him either 1, 4, or 9. 1's available. 9's available. I actually like 9. I think I'm going to go with 9 for him. What about Kenny Freeman, 93 overall? We could give him... Maybe let's go to player info. What about like 12? That would be an odd number for him. There's 12. Good deal. I'm going to give him 12. Nine plus three gives you 12. So we just gave him something random, but something different. Uh, actually, that's actually a weird uh, defensive end number. Maybe kind of sort of. Hey, let's just leave it as is. I think that's cool. We'll, we'll just leave that as is. So number 12, Kenny Freeman. All right. Good pickups there. Defensive tackle. We picked up one guy, J.P. Clark, 72 overall. I'm going to leave that as is. Outside linebacker, we didn't pick up anybody, but middle linebacker, this kid right here is going to be a stud and a half. I may give him something better than that, 48. I, honestly, he probably needs number 12, doesn't he? Uh, do, 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 do. I actually may leave that as is. I'm okay I mean, unless I can give him something different. 48. Eight. Eight. Boom. Let's give him eight. I think he deserves it. This kid's going to be incredible for us. We'll give him eight. Corner, we picked up one guy, Oliver McCutcheon. Good name. I'm not going to do anything different there. I'll leave him at 30. Free safety, we didn't pick up anybody new. Strong safety, we picked up McKent McIntosh, but he's a 70 overall, so he can stick with 28. We did pick up a kicker, 44. I'm okay with that. No, actually, this kid right here, 36. I'm perfectly fine with that. And we picked up a punter, 45, Jonathan Swain. So that is it. I'm excited for the next season. The goal here is, you know, win as many games as possible. And hopefully we get invited to a bigger conference after this season. If we don't, I may just move on to another team in this foul, in this dynasty or something. I'll figure it out then. Until then, we're going to enjoy this next season as much as possible and see if we can pick up uh, even more wins and some more hardware. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.